Hey, I think it's important we start by defining the difference between a note and a chord. What is a note? A note is one tone, one sound vibrating and making your eardrum go and sending signals to your brain. It's just one sound. What is a chord then? It's several of those sounds, several tones played at the same time. So for example, if this is one and this is another one, two tones, if we play them together, sorry, that's a chord, a very basic chord, two notes, but that's a chord playing in unison. Now you can have two tones played together, three tones played together, four tones played together, five. How many tones are there? Let's count. So we've got one. We're gonna start in A with the fifth string open because I just think it's easier to understand. Starts with A, same as the alphabet, moves along the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so we're gonna count how many tones there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And what about this one? Is that a 13? No. It's a one. So this A and this A are the same note, only one octave higher in pitch, but they're exactly the same note. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Repeat again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's only twelve tones, twelve notes. Now what do we do with those tones? How do we combine them into different chords? Can we just randomly pick any? Yes, you can randomly pick any and that'll give you a chord. If I choose this one and this one, that, if I play, the, play those together, they will give me a chord. But there's a problem. If I choose this one and on the same string, I choose one higher in pitch, I cannot play those two tones together. And that is why we have more strings in the guitar. If this was a piano, I could perfectly play those three notes separately different keys right but because they're on the same string and the way guitar is made i can't that's why i need more strings okay so your next logical question would be if i choose any random note two or three or four random notes and i combine them together are they going to sound nice probably not that is why you need a sequence and you probably heard about this sequence it's called the major scale. Ta -da! Now, don't get scared. Remember, there's only 12 notes. To create a major scale, we're gonna follow this sequence. We're gonna start on the first note. That's gonna define the name of the scale. In this case, fifth string open A note. That's my A scale, okay? And I'm gonna create an A major scale. So I'm gonna jump two frets. One, two. That's my second note of my scale. One, two, then two again, one, two. That's my third note. I'm gonna jump one, fourth note, two, two, two. So that's my scale, right? Start, two, two, one, two, two, two. And if you realize the next note is my A note again. So it's seven notes. And how do we create chords from there? Basic chords, the ones you know and love, A, C, D, G, all of those basic chords are created using the first note of the major scale, in this case, A, the third note of the major scale. So we're going to count one, two, three, and the fifth note of the major scale. So one, two, three, four. Five. So we're going to go use this note, that note, and that note. Three notes played together in unison. But we can't play them in the same string because we can't play them in unison. That is why we have chord shapes. And if you realize, that chord has all three of those notes. I'm just going to color them red for the first note. I'm going to color the third note blue and I'm gonna color the fifth note green. And if you realize, that chord shape has all three colors. It has no more colors, it has no more notes, it only has three notes, five string, three notes. Okay, then I understand the 
concept of the major scale and that to create major chords, I use the one, the three, and the five of that major scale, the red, the blue, and the green notes of the major scale. Anytime I play an A major chord shape, I'm using those notes. But what about the minor chords? And what about the seventh chord? And the major seventh chord? And the sus twos and the sus fours and all those crazy chords? You told me we didn't need a chord chart. Let me show you exactly how you can use those notes, that sequence, to create all the other chords. Let's dive into my computer and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's start. Um, first of all, here you have all the possible notes, starting with the A, open fifth string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the next one would be an A again. Okay, so to create an A major scale, we start over here. This is gonna be our red. Let me just color that red. That's gonna be the what names the scale, the A note. And then we're gonna go one, two, and that's gonna be another one. So we're gonna erase this one. Then we're gonna go two more. One, two, that's gonna be another one. We're gonna erase this one. Then we're gonna go one, that's gonna be another one. And then the sequence goes two again. So I'm erasing this one. One, two, right? One, two, erasing this one. One, two. So those are my seven notes of the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to play a basic major chord, we need number one, number three of that major scale. So one, two, three, that's gonna be our blue note. I think it's easier with colors. And then we need the five. So one, two, three, four, five, and that's gonna be our green note. Voila, you can see that an A chord shape only uses reds, greens, and blue notes. Reds, there's two, greens, there's two, and there's only one blue note. So how do we transform this and make it an A minor chord? Well, to turn any major chord into a minor chord, we just have to move the blue note one fret towards the headstock. We have to minorize. We have to subtract one fret for the blue note. So if you realize, here's my blue note. I'm going to subtract one fret to that blue note, giving me an A minor shape. All the other, all the other notes are going to stay exactly the same. The reds are going to stay in their place. The greens are going to be in their place. But this blue note is going to move one fret down over here, giving me an A minor chord. Okay, that's cool. But what about major seven? A major seven, for example. Okay, to create an A major seven chord, it's very easy. Instead of three notes, we're going to use four notes. And the you're probably guessing what is the fourth note we're going to use, right? We're going to use the, the seventh note of the major scale. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the note we're looking for. Now, if you realize this is going to be, so if I duplicate this and I throw it over here, that's an A note too. That's a one, two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one again. Now, the seventh note is one fret lower in pitch from the one note. Okay, so where is a one note that I can lower one fret, that I can minus one fret? So I can't use this one note because there's no more frets, but I can use this note and lower it one fret. And if you realize that is an A major seven. Oh, that's big. That is an A major seven. I'm just going to color this yellow now. Okay, so we've got a red, we've got a green, we've got two greens, we've got a blue, and we've got a yellow, that seventh note. Now there is another combination. I'm just going to return this to its place and color it red because it is a red. 
But if you count, look at this green note, how many frets till the seventh note? One, two, three, four. So we could bring this green and make one, two, three, four. That would turn into this note over here. And again, we have an A major seven chord. If you realize we still have the, the red, two reds, we still got the green, we still got the blue, but now we have the seventh note of the major scale. Awesome, what about seventh chords? We discovered majors, minors, major sevenths. How about seventh chords? Well, seventh chords, you get that seventh note and you subtract one fret to that note, okay? So let's look again. If we were starting from this note over here, from the red note, and we were looking for a note right in right over here, we would go one, two. Okay, so let's get that red note again and go one, two, turn it into, I don't know, yellow. And now we've got an A seven chord. But same as with the other example, I'm gonna bring this here again. What about the green? How many how many frets would it be for it to be the seventh note minus one fret? So it would be one, two, three frets. So let's move that three frets. One, two, three frets. Turn that into a yellow note. And that's an A7 also. Pretty cool, right? Let me give you a couple more that I think you, you will find useful. Um, which are the sus2 and the sus4, also called sus. So a sus2 or a sus4 chord only involves three notes. Instead of four, like a major seven or a seven chord, it only involves three notes. But we already have three notes, so what are we gonna do? Oh no, so what we're gonna do is this blue note, we're gonna substitute for another note, okay? So the way this works is if you want a sus2, let me just write that down, sus2. We're going to look for the second note of the major scale. So how many frets is it apart from the third note? So we've got one, two, the third note is this one, and we're looking for this note. So we're going to move one, two frets. So we go one two, turning that into a yellow. And now we have an A sus two chord. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now let's do an A sus four chord. Let's bring this back to its original position to A. Okay, now to play an A sus four, we're gonna use the fourth note of the major scale instead of the third. So I like to call this substitute instead of suspended. But anyway, um, so we're going to, how many frets is it apart from the third note? So this is a third note, and we're looking for this note, the fourth note. So it's only one fret higher in pitch. So we're going to put it here. And now you've got an A sus four chord. But the beautiful thing about this is that you can create different combinations with the same technique. So let's create an A minor, okay, seventh chord, for example, A minor seven. Okay, so how do we create an A minor seven? Now, remember to create minor chords, we had to move the blue note one fret towards the headstock. We had to minorize that chord. We had to subtract a fret, making it a minor chord. Okay, so we are just going to go like that. Now we have our A minor, this part of the equation. Now we're looking for the seven, not the major seven. The major seven, I think of it as the major scale and the seven is just one less. So we're looking for this note over here, this one right over here, okay? So how many, how can we do that? 
we can come from the green note. So one, two, three, and we could go like that. One, two, three. We would still have the red, the green, the blue, and a yellow. That's a possibility, okay? Or we could, for example, let me turn that back into green. Or we could subtract one, two from the red. So one, two. There we go. Those are two possible combinations to create an A minor seven. If you wanted an A minor major seven, you would do that, right? So only one fret from the red. Hope you found this helpful. If you want to know more of how the fretboard works,